Hello you all, uh, beautiful Gemini. Welcome to the channel. It's Rad. Welcome to Radku Tarot. And in this whole video, we're going to look into uh, your week of December 6th to um, November 30th, I'm sorry, up until the December 6th, 2020. And while I'm shuffling the cards, just to put it out there, if you do want a, a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, which link you're going to find into the description down below. And there at the very front page of it, uh, you're going to see a full list of my services as well, uh, their pricing. And also, if you want to dive into tarot and uh, you like the way I read, you want to learn to read, to read the same way, I'm offering tarot classes as well under the tarot classes section of my uh, website. And if you decide to go down that road, which is uh, for, from the feedback, it's a really good journey. Uh, I recommend you to go for the Major Arcana first, Major Arcana class first, get comfortable with them, learn to read with them, or kind of like get comfortable to, to, to read just with them, okay? And then if you do decide that you need more of, no, of my knowledge, go for the Minor Arcana. So with that being set aside, Gemini, let's move to your reading. Now, first one, which does display the topic of your week, that is going to be the King of Pentacles followed by the um, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. We do have the Two of Wands. Moving next, that will be the challenges that you are going to have to overcome. These are a challenges or struggles that you are going to overwhelm throughout the week. Uh, followed by the next one, which displays the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the death card, followed by the next one, which is uh, how other people see you. And that will be uh, marked by the Queen of Swords. Afterwards, it is the obstacles or what is truly holding you back. And that will be the uh, judgment. Then the seventh card of the spread, it is what um, pushes you forward or what helps you. And um, I can see in the reflection of my camera that it is the star card and this, okay? And uh, the last one is the guidance and that is the most important piece for you and to your reading. And I can again see it and it is the Ace of Cups. My God. You are about to do something that you will or like deny it's not do it's like deny something or at least you are considering it that you are to regret that you did it one way or the other uh if you will i'm gonna sneeze sneeze a lot oh my god all right so you're going to <laughs> you're going to regret it one way or the other, and the most milder way is that you're going to regret that you, you kind of like did not uh, even try to explore it, okay? And to, to see what, at least where it leads, okay? So, let's uh, move through the cards as they come. And the first two, they are interpreted as a pair because they do relate to the, to the core of the reading. And these are the two cards, like said, we do have the King of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. So uh, what they, uh, I will start with the energies here because it goes from, uh, from that point. Now, uh, these energies are sitting on a very well-established uh, pattern or foundation, something that you, you yet can develop, okay? Uh, but you have to pretty much, it's not like putting the effort behind, but like not going in a different direction, not leaving it behind. It's it's all that you gotta do, just stick to it. That's that's pretty much the point of the two of wands. For in its general meaning, what the card truly says, it is that whether you believe it or not, or whether you do realize it or not, you came to a good achievement, but these achievements are not great achievements, and you need to press further, despite if the, if you see only darkness in front of you, if that's the case, meaning you are going through a rough time, you just have to remember your goal and your goal is going to illuminate your path moving forward, okay? So these energies will help you see your path, how to um, expand 
on these patterns, on that foundation, this job, this business, this marriage, this love, this relationship, whichever that thing is for you. For You are unique, every single person is unique and it will be a different thing for each one of you, Gemini. And that leads us to the topic which is the King of Pentacles and that is the topic of investing and giving and taking as well. You can't, it literally tells you here and it appears more like a lesson that you ought to learn that you cannot expect someone to give you if you are not willing to give in return with the King of Pentacles. So with that being said, it will be, uh, the week is going to be like a, a, a game of a cat and mouse. Which one is going to do the move first? Which one is going to give first to the other? Uh, is your boss is going to uh, give you a promotion first before you become truly dedicated to your work? Or are you going to become truly dedicated to your work and then your boss give you a promotion? Whichever it is, it needs to meet a reciprocal and is going to meet a reciprocal. Recip uh, reciprocal response. Another thing about the King of Pentacles, uh, and that is um, kind of like a, a, a far-fetched, but yet true in many cases, uh, is that you are to be surrounded by friends, or at the very least, you are going to bring some friends to the matter. Uh, and that being said, um, they're just going to be involved in your schemes. Uh, and under schemes, I don't mean bad things, you just you know the things that you're planning and all these kind of stuff. And uh, together you can achieve better things than, um, than if you can't do it on your own. Uh, but as the King of Pentacles falls into the prime position of this spread, uh, that week is going to be crucial for you to establish a domain how you are to proceed. This is, uh, look at it as the raw boundaries of yours and what you're going to build, build within those boundaries uh, it depends on you, but in the right now you have to define those boundaries. And what that to me speaks, it is that you have to uh, pretty much make up your mind, what job you want to work, okay? Make up your mind, uh, for example, what hobbies you want to undertake from now on, uh, or if you will make up your mind which man you want to be with, or which woman you want, you want to be with, or which suitor you want to be with. It's just you have to make up your mind about it and start investing into it for you are sitting on those patterns on those achievements that are good but not yet great but you can make them great only if once again you do start investing and that leads us to the next one which is the challenge and oh my friends I will just quote and according to one book that what that card tells you as a uh, sentence or as a parable is that uh, and i said it many times in my live streams in other videos uh, and uh, the, the parable is if the truth makes you free and what the denial of it makes you so if you are feeling trapped imprisoned uh, you can't it's not like you can't move forward but it is like even if you do move forward it, it doesn't have a life into that movement then you are not just only denying you are ignoring what the truth for you is and that could play many many different gazes but I can open a topic about love, I can open a topic about job, I can talk about this for the next 40 minutes. That's not the point of the reading. The point of the reading here is that you have to open your mind, uh, or your eyes, I'm sorry, uh, to your heart and your heart as well. Think about how you feel, think about what you want. Uh, and when you, when you pretty much, you know, find out or make, make your peace with it, just accept that is what you want even if it does not correlate very well with, uh, with what you are going through right now it doesn't make it untrue is it so if you you don't have to succeed in it throughout this week you just have to acknowledge it and be faithful to it and eventually you're gonna get there as, as long as you start investing you don't have to invest a fortune it's just bit by bit little by little it will grow with those cards, I guarantee you that. 
So uh, next one, it is the uh, gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week, and that is the death card. And as far as the gifts and blessings are concerned with the death card, it's very simple. Uh, it pretty much points that there are no situation or uh, in this particular case, change, uh, transformation as well, that you won't be able to make use of, that you won't be able to uh, utilize and capitalize, that you won't be able to handle. So whatever happens there, you are always gonna end up on the upper, uh, uh, on the top of it. Like you are always gonna have the upper hand because with the death card, whatever is in flux and needs to uh, let go, in other words, doesn't serve any purpose and it doesn't contribute in any way to your situation, you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever of a letting you go, of letting it go, I'm sorry. And uh, that is one of the reasons, again, why if you do feel like you need to refine the raw boundaries of your domain, that is an ideal week, you do it for, again, whatever is in flux, it's not gonna be as difficult as it was before to just say, bye-bye, I don't need you anymore and you don't need me anymore as well. That, that will be the good thing because it's gonna be like a, a, like a pact, like something mutual, especially if it comes to already died relationship or died love, there won't be any um, ill feelings or anything like that. It just is going to be a mutual understanding that you had your time, uh, things were really good, you know, back in the days, but now nothing had been left there. And so it's time you both to move on. The same could play out in a job as well. So moving next, we do have uh, the card representing how people are going to see you. And with the Queen of Swords, people are going to see you as a force to be reckoned with. Someone who can, uh, and that comes in an addition to the death card, they will see your true self here because usually when that when that position comes about, people see what they want to see and uh, that's why we are misunderstood because people see us as something different, what they want to see, like I said, not our true nature. But this time around, they are going to see you as your true nature, someone who is determined, someone who is very emancipated, someone who uh, is this time around I will repeat the word, but determined to push the things through to their own benefit, regardless of anything else. And that will make you look like a really scary enemy. And it's highly, highly unlikely that throughout the week itself, there will be those that will want to challenge you in anything or that will want to cross your path in any way. Um, <clears throat> and it will be a great, um, how can I say, um, great time to make allies because I don't remember the author of the sentence but one once said it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both and that's your case here you can definitely be feared for what you can do and how you stand and it's better to be feared than loved because when you are loved, people just take advantage of you. That's, that's, the, that's the truth that we, no one can truly deny. I'm not saying all the people, but most of the people just take advantage of you. Right, so uh, moving next, it is the um, obstacles that are holding you back and I am quite surprised to see this card, this card here, that is uh, judgment. And um, I will need a second to uh, really fit the piece of the puzzle here. And the only thing that truly makes sense to me looking at the card, it is again related to the Eight of Swords where you are having such a hard time to accept that you already have your piece of the puzzle, a big piece of the puzzle there, well, the final piece of the puzzle. And for one or another reason, it's just you, you, you don't want to place it where it belongs. I don't know what you are afraid of. I don't know why you are um, denying it here. But according to these cards, and again, that's general reading. It could re relate to something small that is irrelevant to you or to something big that it is a big deal for you. Uh, but 
it will be so much more easier if you do just submit to it. And uh, when judgment falls into such a position, something that works against you or rather like something that holds you back, what we're talking about here, it's, it's not the true path, but it is the call from the universe. And it comes as a resilience that you, you uh, or the subject of the reading, in this case, you, Gemini, you are trying to resist the call of the universe. May that be that your um, true job come about and you try to resist it. May that be your true love have come about and you try to resist it. Or it's trying to walk away, for example, when you're just letting it go, okay? And, and that is something that holds you back. It holds, it doesn't hold you back. Judgment is so much more, it holds your purpose back. That's the, and that's scary thing, at least to me. So uh, very important here it is to acknowledge, you know, what's, where the potential lies truly and what can give you as you can give it. That's what holds its true value of life. There is no point pouring into something and just facing nothing in return. At least to me, it doesn't make any sense. I learned that into my second grade. I hope you have learned it earlier than, the, sooner than later, or you have learned it um, earlier than later uh, as well. So uh, moving next, we do have what is gonna help you here. We do have the star card. Uh, that is what pushes you forward. Uh, it's an amazing card. Uh, first thing that this card tells us, it is that you are, uh, throughout the week, uh, you're gonna have something, okay, uh, like either an enterprise, it could be as well a project, it could be as well an unfolding love, but the thing is, is that that thing is gonna give you um, hope, and that's a bit of a cliche, but most of the books doesn't explain you what that hope is born from, and I will tell you here, that hope is born from that this thing is someone you look forward to. That thing has um, not potential, but a, a, a field. It has a potential, but as well has a field to be a long-term one. It, it always gonna stay there and is gonna hang about with you for as long as you are true to it as well. And that's what the star card is all about. You just have to face it open and put your ideals and your standards in it. Uh, if it is about love, give your love to it. If it is about work, give your hope to it, okay? And it will develop, star card, so it, it develops very slowly, but at the end, your um, ideals or the ideals of the subject of the reading, in this case you, are always met. So, and that's why I'm telling you, I told you at the start of the reading, you are about to do something you are going to regret sooner or later, or rather like not to do something that you are going to regret not doing it sooner or later. And the last one, it is the guidance that Taro is offering, that is the Ace of Cups. And I have only one sentence for you, just follow that, that makes you happy. It's the only thing that makes sense, having the Ace of Cups here. Uh, it's it's just when it happens don't fight with it okay just just give yourself to it completely that's the guidance so that being said gemini uh, this was your a weekly general tarot reading guys for a uh, november for november 30th to uh, december 6 2020 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we shall see each other next time until then bye